Okay, we're gonna be mobile developers in 30 days. Can we be able to do it? Yes and no. Let me explain. First thing I wanna address is learning development, whether it's mobile or front end or back end, takes time, dedication, and you can never master all the skills in 30 days. Even as someone who has a prior background to development or programming, it will take you time to learn the skills or master them. So technically, you can never be a mobile developer in 30 days. But the good question to ask yourself in this situation is, why not do it? Like, what's there to lose? In 30 days, if you have not become that mobile developer you want to be, you have gained some skills and you have built something or you have added some skills to your resume or your portfolio. So the good question to ask yourself now is, why not do it? It might not be mobile development. It can be your web development. It can be front end, wherever. Like, you can just take this time now and set this time out these 30 days and dedicated to learn something new so you can learn this with me and then you can drop your comments down below and tell me what you are interested if you're already learning tell me your progress so far and i'm also gonna start this journey with you and i'm gonna be sharing the back end and I'm, i'll share whatever that i'll be doing with you but i did not answer the question if i will be able to become a mobile developer in 30 days so my plan is to build an uh, is to learn react native i'm gonna be using react native and then i will use react native to build an app so the app i have in mind i'm gonna start with something smaller i think uh, a saloon app because i went to the barber the other day and it took three hours so i want to automate their stuff so we can book online so that's my first idea of creating the app but knowing myself i'll probably try to do something crazy or some crazy complex and delay the time but uh, i'll just try to keep it uh, a bit basic but if i have time i'm gonna be able to extend it because on the side i'm still having my job which i'll be working every week and then the only time i'll have to develop this app is maybe after hours after the gym or during the weekend so will i be able to develop this app and publish it if possible well yes because i'm top g of course <laughs> but yeah so let's get into this um, the next thing we're gonna do is choose uh, an approach whether we're gonna be developing for mobile or ios for android or ios so that's one thing i gotta check because i gotta set up the environment first and then see if i can be able to develop for android if there's an emulator or if i'm gonna use my phone and then i'll go with ios so that's essentially this, the first thing I will do be on uh, React Native. But before I start developing the app or I get into whatever I need to do, I'm gonna write down and write down clear requirements of what I need the app to do, what it needs to accomplish to begin with. And then when I have the clear requirements of whatever that I need to accomplish, that's when I can structure my back end. Then since I can be able to do RESTful APIs and I'll just do the back end for myself i think it will take less time than doing react native so that's what i will do get the clear requirements then when i move to back end i know the structure of the app and then i can structure everything well i do my back end and then when i'm done that's when i can go to mobile development knowing that my apis will be this and that i'll be creating this this is the type of data i'll be dealing with which creates a clear flow of data or of the entire app of how it's supposed to work to begin with what we need to accomplish and what we have at the moment so that's how what i'm gonna do right now i'm just gonna write down all the requirements that i'm gonna need and then i'm gonna go to my back end do the domain modeling structure my tables and the relationships whatsoever and then i start with the back end development and when i'm done that's when i'm gonna do the mobile part so this should take me a day or two and then i'm gonna start with react native and if anyone wants to join me i can be able to share the back end to my kids and share the link let me know in the comments down below if you want to go on this journey with me other than that i think that's the plan for now and then I'll... so if you're also planning to start something new whether it's, uh, it's gonna be web development or just gonna learn the fundamentals of uh, programming, there's literally no reason for you not to try. 
because we have so many resources we have uh, we have the internet we have chat gpt you can't get stuck like there's literally no reason for you to not start programming which i think I, i'm gonna make a video on that but i'm just gonna highlight this we have so many resources we have youtube which has thousand tutorials we have uh websites blogs and like there's just literally so many resources to get you started what you need to do is start because i know most people will say now nah, i'm gonna start this at the end of the month or when the month begins no no why why start the uh, now it's the time now is the time i know i'm pro probably sounding like a motivational speaker but i'm holding you accountable start today you're seeing this video start now start now like there's literally no other reason not to start so you can start with your with your programming fundamentals whether be you're gonna be using python i think i would recommend python to begin with and please note i'm not expert at all i'm just sharing what i think is right and what will help you to learn so you can start with your python you can start with your javascript and if you want to do web development start with your html today we have like a lot of sites to start with that like check the description i left some some links there so start today and structure this thing according to plan you can start with your variables you start with your consoles whatsoever move into object oriented you feel like you've understood that and then you can start focusing on that uh language framework or you can that uh, you can use and then you get into business there's no reason for you not to start start today